Hello Wally's Eco Buddies, I'm so excited to see you again. Now, if you have been watching the Wally and Molly stories, you'll know that in previous videos, I've told you a little bit about the Kloof Conservancy's web project, and I've introduced the Nibbles family to you. Now, if you have read Mice on the Move, you'll know how Wally and Molly discovered their dream home. And behind me today is the old mill, and I'm so excited to show you all about it. The wonderful thing about the old mill is that it's made up of recycled goods. Things that we would normally throw away in the dustbin have gone towards creating the mouse house. But I'm sure you've all seen those, those horrible polystyrene things that come underneath cakes and sometimes vegetables. And who hasn't seen an egg box? Normally we would just throw them away, but we've been using them. Now the mouse house has taken us at least six months to get looking this good. Remember when they bought it from old Samuel Shrew, it was very run down and it needed a lot of work. It's still got at least a year's work left in it, but I thought I'd show it to you now and then as we make it look more splendid, you can follow its progress. So let's have a look at it. Don't worry if it's too, too far away and you can't see the details because just now I'm going to take the camera and show you some close up shots. Isn't it beautiful? It's quite a big house. It has a ground level, a cellar. It has a first floor, second floor, and then Wally and Molly's bedroom is right at the top. If I turn it round, you'll see what I mean by it still needing a lot of work. And in the corner right at the bottom there, you'll see their indigenous flower garden. How awesome is that? They're busy planting aloes and succulents and Beautiful flowers that will attract insects, birds and bees. Here is something quite important. It's a water wheel. Because Wally and Molly want to get off the grid because they can no longer cope with Eskim and all its power outages. So they're going to generate their own electricity. And we'll leave it there. Now I'm going to take the camera and hone in and give you some close-up shots. Right, let's get in nice and close and see some of those details. The stonework on the edges of the building and around the door is what we made out using the egg boxes. If I get in nice and close to the roof, you can see it's made from the cauliflower polystyrene. Those little mice must be on their tea break because they're certainly not doing any work. Let's go up a little bit higher. Oh, there's a little guy who's working. Looks like he's plastering the walls. On the left, you'll see Wally's office. And on the other side, Molly's got her art studio. And on the top is Wally and Molly's bedroom. I think we need to put up some security rails, or safety rails, or else we're going to have a little mouse child falling down, breaking their arm, and we don't want that, do we? Ah, now that looks interesting. There's the water wheel. Man, I find that so seriously cool. Really is lovely. And there we've got our indigenous flower garden, all the aloes, and that's a lucky bean tree that's lost its leaves. And the dearest little bridge. And I can just see a little mouse standing on it, fishing in the water below once the little dam gets stocked up with fish. There's the dining room. There's the lounge. Lots of work still to be done there. The children's bedroom. The grown-up's bedroom. With its own dear little patio. Molly's studio. And now, let me take off the lid. Carefully put it to the side, and you can see their kitchen table. Now, I don't know about you, but those cherry tarts look delicious, and I wouldn't say no to a slice of Victoria sponge cake either. Now, you know, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. If you would like to find more about the web project or Dawn Booth books, you can ask a grown-up. The links are provided in the last slide 
and you can follow them and find out more about us. Now, next session, we're going to get busy crafting. So get your scissors and your glue and start collecting old boxes. Remember, in our craft projects, we don't buy stuff, we recycle because we're Wally's Eco Buddies. Now, you have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.